Hi friends, thanks for watching this video today. I'm going to share with you a couple new additions to the Docs Authoring Pack, uh, which hopefully will increase your productivity as a developer uh, of content. So a new addition to YAML files is the support for uh, linking to a file in the repository. Uh, before this addition, we didn't have the ability to reason about um, how to find files in the repository and link to them in the context of a YAML file. Uh, with this addition, uh, we can now resolve files and link to them. So now we're avoiding that pesky task of manually trying to make sure that you get the correct syntax and path for links within the context of YAML files. So this is a, a, an awesome addition. Uh, additionally, for Markdown files, we've added some uh, new capabilities. I'm going to cover uh, uh, several of those right now. So in the context of this Markdown file, uh, you'll notice that we have this metadata, which is ms.date, and it's a bit dated. Uh, so now if we right click, we get this menu option to update the ms.date metadata value, and it will do so automatically, which is cool. Uh, this next feature is super exciting. Um, so when we talk about code blocks, uh, it's, it's pretty common to indicate a language identifier. In this case, uh, let's say that we want to use C-sharp interactive. So we use that, um, but you'll notice that we had that uh, completion suggestion available to us. That's the new addition, which is super, super helpful. So when you're typing a triple backtick on the third backtick of an opening code block, you'll now get this completion list. Now, this list is somewhat finite. It is filtered to the most popular languages. If you want to expand that to every single possible platform language that our um, docs.microsoft.com platform supports, there's a configuration option to show that um, or to, to change that. Uh, but instead of showing you that, I'm going to show you the next uh, feature, which is to recognize incorrect uh, language identifiers. So in this case, someone took JSON literally and put JSON as the identifier rather than JSON. Uh, so we'll, we'll recognize that and give you a suggestion to correct uh, the identifier. So now you get the contextual um, option to update and search for, well, this is JSON and so there we go. So we've fixed that bug, which is awesome. The next enhancement and final enhancement that we're going to cover in this video is sorting. So in the context of a markdown file, uh, in this particular case, we have a large table. And you'll notice that the table's not ordered uh, correctly. Uh, certain things are kind of not in alphabetical order, and that can be troublesome to consumers of the table who are reading it, who might expect things to be, uh, you know, logically or uh, alphabetically sorted. So if we highlight the entire table, all the rows in the table, and we right click, now in your editor, once you have a selection, we'll add these two additional menu items, which you can sort the selection ascending or descending. I'll do descending first just to show you that it goes Z to A and then right click and do uh, A to Z and it will go back to the correct order that we're looking for. Thank you for checking out this video today. I hope as a content developer on the docs.microsoft.com platform that these features make you more productive.